Hey guys, this is Joy. So we are gonna do a full body workout today. Some of these exercises will be body weight, but most of them will use weights. So you can have any size weights. Um, I'm gonna have 10 pounds. Um, that's a little bit heavy maybe if you're starting with weights. So if you prefer, you can always do perhaps um, like water bottles. If you have two water bottles, you can start with just using for some of the things for our upper body. But if you have weights at home, that's great. And we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So we're gonna start right away warming up with a wide stance. We're still gonna have those weights, but again, you could do this without weights for this warm up if you like. We're gonna pull one arm up towards our rib as the other weight comes towards our ankle. And then go side to side. So we're starting to warm up those obliques. We're gonna go 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're gonna roll the shoulders back, turn the heels in, toes are apart. We're gonna sink down with the weight, pull the elbows high. Sink down, pull those elbows high. We're gonna go for 10. Good, here's nine, here's eight, here's seven. Breathing six, here's five, four, three, here's two, okay, on one, flip those weights, going down, pressing up, inhale, exhale for 10, nine, very good, press those arms up, eight, seven, breathe six, five, keep pressing those knees back, four, Opening through the hips at the same time. Three, two, okay. On one, we're putting those moves together. So down, elbows high, then weights up. Good, bend the knees, bring the weights down. Don't let your hips sit back. You wanna keep your shoulders over your hips the whole time. Breathe, six. Pressing those weights overhead, here's five. Press it up. Get that nice row, elbows higher than the shoulders, then flip those elbows. Three, good. Make sure to really rotate through the shoulders. Two, okay. Last one, all right, nice job. Put one weight down, pick up just one of your weights, and turn your toes straight ahead, bend your knees, hold that weight in front of your chest, and just twist your upper body side to side. So don't let your hips move, just your shoulders move for a time. Nine, eight, seven, keep your breath going, six. Good, really twist through that back, still warming up a little bit here. Three, two, and one. Okay, take a moment, drop that weight down, shoulders roll back, elbows roll back, big arm circles back, reverse. Arms forward, elbows, shoulders. Bend your knees, drop your head, and then lift your gaze forward. Turn your heels back in, toes out. Drop one shoulder down. Other shoulder, good. Press both knees back. Hands to the ground, turn your heels back. Straighten your legs, take a quick stretch. Grab those weights again, roll on up. Okay, we're gonna step, hopefully maybe you have a mat or just some space in front of you. We're gonna do some forward lunges with hammer curls. So elbows are locked in. We're gonna lunge forward, take a hammer curl, step back, switch, and step back. Four, 10, good, here's nine. Breathe, eight, good, here's seven. Lunging forward, alternating, six, good. Keep those elbows locked in by your side. Four, keep that breath going, three, Almost there, guys. Two and one. Okay, very good. Now, I'm just gonna turn around. I'm gonna rotate my wrists open out to the side and get ready for some curls, uh, regular bicep curls. So rotate it outward, backwards lunges, alternating. Alternating each leg, lunging back. Four, 10. Keep that breath going, nine. Good, you guys, here's eight. Breathe, seven, okay, six, almost there, five, four, good, three, here's two, okay, last one, all right, good, slowly lower those weights, 
Roll it up, shoulders back, wide stance. Just take one arm across your chest. Circle that wrist, reverse. Other arm across that chest, circle your wrist. Reverse, okay. Now we're gonna get into those triceps, okay? Pick up just one weight. And we're gonna have our arm bent like a bicep curl. So this is my left knee, weight is in the right hand. I'm taking my left leg, lunge to the side, bring the weight over towards that foot. Curl in, press the arm up and down. So in a moment, we'll get into those triceps. This is a movement just for that inner outer thigh. So this is a full body exercise. A little more focus with the upper bodies than I normally do because I do a lot of Pilates. And adding the weights is such a great way to make sure we get that upper body in as well. Six. Breathe, okay, five, and up, four, and up, good, three, and up, here's two, and up, last one, okay, and hold that arm strong by the ear. So I'm gonna turn, hope you guys can kind of see, my left knee is still up, I'm gonna drop that weight behind the head and push up with that right arm. So. I'm doing a tricep extension. I'm standing on the right leg, lifting the left knee to a parallel passe. Right weight is dropping behind the head and pressing up. Four more. Four. Here's three. Press it up. Two. Okay, last one. Beautiful job. Okay, before we switch sides, launch your left leg forward, right leg back. Round that right arm. We're gonna open squeeze into our back and down. Squeeze into our back and down. Four, eight, seven, good, six, breathe, five, breathe, four, breathe, three, breathe, two, breathe, last one, inhale, exhale. Okay, bring that weight right by your thigh, pulse just that arm back, hit that tricep, make sure it just goes back eight, seven, six, Five, breathe, four, three, two, okay, last one, awesome. We're gonna go to the other side, so bring that right foot in. You wanna have space to the side of you, weight is in the left hand in that curl position. We're gonna lunge over with the right leg, reach the weight towards the foot, bring the foot in by the ankle, lift the leg up as you bring it to passe, and again, over, in, and up, over, in, and up. So this is great cross training for if you're a dancer or someone who does acro or gymnastics and getting some different types of exercises to strengthen through that whole core upper body a little differently than our normal training or just anybody who wants a little, to be a little bit stronger. A great workout here. So I try to do weights at least once a week, even for 10, 15 minutes if I can, because most of my other work is uh, from just my own body weight, which is great, but it's good to mix it up here and there, okay? So if you can, again, if you don't have weights, something heavier you can use just to hold on to during this workout. Two more. In and up. Last one. And hold it up. Now your right knee's gonna pass it, your left weight is going behind your head and up. Again, I know it's a little harder for me to get back far enough for you guys to see. I'm coming all the way over here. Hopefully you can see that arm dropping down and up. Okay, so it's kind of tricky sometimes when you don't have a lot of space at home to get everything you need to see in the video. But hopefully, you know, that arm is strong by the ear, that weight's dropping behind your head and pushing up. Four more. Don't let that arm pull away from your ear. Three, two, drop that weight behind your head. Last one, okay, good. Right foot is forward, left leg is back. Elbow is rounded, we're gonna squeeze into the upper back and down. Right here for 10. Breathing nine. Good, here's eight. Seven, you can do it guys. Six, breathe. Five, good, four. Three, keep that breath going. Two, okay, last one, super strong. Arm is right by your thigh. Pulse that arm back higher than the thigh for 10. Nine, eight, seven, breathe six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Very good, you guys. Lower that weight down. I'm really hot now, so I'm just gonna take this off. Let's take a one arm across our chest, circle that wrist, reverse. Now take that same arm, pull it up behind your back, use your opposite hand to draw it down. Very good, other side. Arm across the chest, circle the wrist, reverse. And then take that same arm up behind your back and stretch here. Really good, you guys. Okay, just lace up your fingertips around your spine. Round that upper back here. And then just bring your arms open, open your chest. And just take another fold over your legs. We're going to come down to the mat for this first exercise series. You do not need your weights. So you're going to be on your hands and knees. You're gonna lift up your left knee and simply open it side and down one. Side, down two, hitting that glute. Three, breathing, four, breathing, five. Here's six, here's seven, eight, we're almost there, nine. Now on 10, hold it up, pulse 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Turn that knee down so your heel presses up. You're going to pulse that heel up 10. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on 1. Point that toe, extend the leg, tap the top of the foot to the mat, and kick it up 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, now on one, flex that foot lower, and you're gonna lift up your right knee. Just pull it in, back one. In, back two, in, back three, in, back four, in, back five, in, back six, in, back seven, in, back eight, you're almost there. Nine, and 10. Okay, bring that right knee down, turn it back. Open up like you're in a modified side plank. Reach up and over. When you're ready, take that right leg, cross it behind the left, or even stack your feet. We're gonna lower lift that hip for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now on one, lower that knee. Pull yourself up, stretch toward your straight leg. Come back up, switching sides. So bringing your left knee down, and your right leg side, okay? Just hold it here, take a big side stretch, reach that arm up, and then see if maybe you can cross that left leg under or stack your feet. And let's lower and lift that left hip right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna turn right into a full plank from here. Okay, just hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep breathing, 3, 2, and 1. Lower your left knee, bend your right knee, begin to open side, down 1, side, down 2, side, down 3, 4, 5, breathing, 6, 7, you can do it, 8, Here's the nine, now on 10, you're gonna hold it open, pulse it up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna go ahead, turn that knee down, heel up towards the ceiling and press it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep flexing that foot, heel up, two, now on one, extend the leg, tap the top of the foot down, kick up one, down, up two, down, up three, four, keep that breath going, four strong, five, hit that glute, six, seven, we're almost there, eight, breathing, nine, now on 10, flex the foot, tuck it under, pull your left knee into your belly and kick that leg up one, don't raise your hips, you're still in a plank, two, in, up three, here's four, keep that breath going, five, six, keep going guys, you're almost there, seven, here's eight, Breathe, nine, okay, last one, and 10. Okay, bring that left knee back down. Open up to the side, just turn, stretch. Come up and just stretch again. 
towards that straight leg. Very good, come back up. So we're gonna bring both knees in and we're gonna come down now to our belly and you're gonna have just one weight out in front of you. Now this is pretty challenging, especially if you have a heavier weight. If you have a lighter weight, it might not be so bad. But what we're gonna do, try to do is lift up into like that super man, super girl, super woman position and holding your weight. So you're gonna first lift your legs and then here's the hard part, lift those arms, just hold 10, nine, eight, really tough holding that weight. Six, four, two, and one, lower. Okay, now this should feel much easier. Drop the weight, just lift everything up. You can lift so much higher, just hold 10, eight, six, four, two, on one, swim the hands back by your hips, lift your heels a little higher, squeeze them together, and then reach your arms forward again. We're gonna alternate swimming, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up, lower, very good. Take your hands right by your side. Really good challenge here. We're gonna see if we can do 10 full push-ups, guys. Squeeze your elbows in. If you can't do this yet, use your knees. So you can do this from your knees, no problem, okay? Join me on your toes if you can. Inhale, exhale, press up in one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Super strong core, five. Inhale, exhale, six. We can do it, guys. Seven, almost there, eight. Breathing, nine. Last time, here we go. Ten, okay, knees down. Hips to heels, stretch. Let's walk our hands a little bit to one side. Stretch through the wrist, through the shoulder. Very good, walk your hands to the other side. Very good. Okay, we're almost done. We have a few more things, but let's do a quick stretch for our shoulders. Reach one arm up, lace that arm underneath your opposite arm, push a little bit with that opposite hand, twist between your shoulder blades. I like to stretch between exercises rather than saving it off for the end, so that we get a little more energy to push through even harder with our next exercises. Come back up, lift, and thread that arm under the opposite arm. Stretch between those shoulder blades. Breathe in. Exhale, you are almost done. We just have our abdominals and our chest and a little bit more glutes and we are done, guys. So coming on around, start with just one weight. Have your other weight nearby. You're gonna need it very soon, okay? So you're gonna come onto your back. You're gonna take this weight and pull it up towards your knees, okay? Curl your chest up, look at those knees. Inhale, exhale, reach your arms and legs out. Pull in for one. Out, pull in for two. Out, pull in for three. Inhale, exhale, four. Out, pull in for five. Out, pull in for six. Out, pull in for seven. Out, pull in for eight. You are almost there. Out, pull in nine. And last one, 10. Okay, guys, from here, we're gonna bring the weight outside of just the right knee and extend the left leg. Then switch, pull left knee and bring the weight outside the left leg. So you're twisting that weight towards the knee that's closest to you. Your chest is lifted the whole time. Keep that breath going. Ten, nine, here's eight, breathe seven, six, breathe five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, stretch your legs up, let your upper body rest. You're gonna lift your chest, reach your weight up towards your feet, and then reach your arms and legs out for two, opposite direction, up for two, lift that weight up towards the feet for eight. And up. Seven, and up. Six, and up. Here's five, you're almost there. Up, four more guys, four. Up, three, up, almost there, two. Up, this is your last one. Here we go. Down and up. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, grab both weights now. And for this one, I'm gonna turn a little bit so I don't kick the wall. But your legs are up, your arms are up with rounded elbows. You're gonna turn your legs out. You're gonna go out for two with the arms and legs, in for two. Out for two, in for two. And your back is flat, low back is flat, and shoulders are flat down. Out for two, in for two. Very good, for eight. And in, work those inner thighs, the chest, seven, 
Good, here, six, and for two, five, and for two, four, and for two, three. Good, here's two, try to keep rotating those legs turned out. Last one, okay, now from here, bending your knees, placing just the toes on the floor. Pull the elbows in, narrow chest press, and push up for one. Elbows in, press up for two. Elbows in, press up for three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. You're doing great. Inhale, exhale, six. We're almost there. Inhale, exhale, seven. Inhale, exhale, eight. You're almost there, guys. Up, down, nine. Last one. Up, down, ten. Okay, now just turn your wrists out. Regular chest press out and in. The only difference is we're going to widen our feet. Okay, so our feet are going to be about where the mat is on each side if you have a mat. Lift your shoulders, relax them down. Hips are going to press up, and then we're going to keep the hips up. Close the knees, weights press up, open. Close the knees and open right here. So inner outer thighs, those weights are coming up and down. We're going to go 10 and 9 and 8 and 7. Breathe. 6. Work that chest. 5. Almost there. 4. Breathe. Three, great job here. Two, finally last one. Hold the knees together, just pump it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, pressing high. Four, three, two on one, open your knees. You're gonna go ahead from here, drop your right hip as you drop that right elbow, push up, drop your left hip as you drop the left elbow, press up for 10, nine, you can do it. Eight, one hip at a time, one elbow drops at a time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lock it up, melt that spine down. Very slowly release those weights overhead, okay? Give your knees a nice big hug, rock a little bit side to side. Very good, we're just gonna roll up, do a very short little stretch here. We're gonna take feet together. Just take a little drop of your head to one side. Other side, roll that head side to side. Stretch up and over, round through the center, other side and up, other way, side stretch. Round through the center and up, twist, twist the other way. Take a quick straddle here, stretch those legs out. Up and over one side, other side. Good, come through center, stretch it out. Breathe. Okay, guys, roll back up. Shake your legs in, legs straight in front of you. Reach up and over. Beautiful job. Take your hands behind your back. Just pull those arms back to stretch the chest one, once more and then pull yourself up. And we can just cross our legs, stand up, take one more deep breath in and exhale. So hopefully you guys made it through. You did awesome if you're still here. Um, I hope you guys have a great day today and I will have another workout for you next Friday for Fitness Friday. All right, bye-bye.